northern parts of the UK. It's still dull across the Plymouth skyline. Much of southeast Britain shrouded in cloud, but up towards the northwest, very different story. Clear skies and lots of glorious winter sunshine. This is the pleasing scene outside in Belfast. And we'll keep that northwest southeast split going through the afternoon. Bit of brightness creeping into parts of the North Midlands, but to the south and east of that, predominantly dull with the odd spot of rain around. No great amounts and certainly dry and bright further north. Plenty more of that crisp sunshine to come. Now, ironically, it's coolest in the north with the sunny skies, sevens and eights here. Quite mild, though, under the cloud in the south, 11 or 12 degrees. So the patchy rain clearing away from the southeast later on. And most places dry for a time, but then more wet weather piling into Scotland and Northern Ireland overnight. And by tomorrow morning, it will have chased right the way down to southern counties of England. So a wet start tomorrow here. Some heavy bursts of rain for a time, but that'll clear away. Things will brighten up. We'll see some sunshine, but some blustery showers rattling into the north and the west. The winds, though, will increase further. Quite a story here. Gales, even severe gales, likely through tomorrow afternoon across central and southern Scotland, northern Ireland, northernmost counties of England. Gusts high 60 or 70 miles an hour could cause some damage, something we're going to have to keep an eye on. It will feel chilly in that strong wind. Temperatures around about, what, 7 or 8 for uh, Scotland, 10 degrees in Northern Ireland, as high as 11 or 12 briefly across some southern counties of England. Pretty chilly again on Friday. Temperatures beginning to ease down. Some wet weather in the south, a risk of it turning to snow up over the higher ground. Something we'll keep you posted on. Darren, back to you.